In this Leonardo.ai video, I am going to experiment with character generation. If you haven't watched my previous video on how to create similar characters in Leonardo.ai, the link to that video is in the description. Before we go any further into the video, if someone is new to Leonardo.ai and is a beginner, then watch my beginner videos in which I cover all the basics of Leonardo.ai. There are mainly two ways to generate characters in Leonardo.ai. The first way is to generate your own prompts and the second way is to remix someone else's prompts and give the character a name. When you use the first method of giving a prompt of your own, then also you need to add a name in order to get similar characters. This is a trick which I covered in my previous videos too. Some of the self-prompting examples are right here. A skinny black man with short hair and no beard named Aristide in the woods. So these are the results that it generated. Some more examples are right here. All these examples were generated by me just by changing the name in this prompt that you see on the screen. I just changed the name and I also covered the software that I use in order to generate unique names so that we get some unique characters. The website is called Behind the Names. So just go to this website and you have to select the gender and the country or ethnicity of your character and you can choose one name and paste it in the prompt. So let's go back. Like suppose I have given this name to this character and I have given this name to this character. All the characters are different but the prompt is same. Let's generate a character using the first technique. So I'll delete this current prompt that is already written and I'll write a new prompt in order to demonstrate how it is done. The first prompt that I used was a boy with curly brown hair named El Elistair wearing a black t-shirt with a black bag standing in the middle of a desert. Now I chose the name from this website right here. So I have just selected a different name. So I'm going to remove this name and try generating a character using the current name that I have pasted because I don't like this character that much. So this time I wrote a white boy because there was a brown character like a brown skinned character coming in the previous generations. So I added the keyword white and these are the results that it came up with. Now let's try something like walking in the middle of a desert. I decided to completely change the prompt. So this time my prompt is a white boy with brown hair named Adrian wearing a black t-shirt with a black bag standing in Rocky Mountains. And as you can see these are the results that we got. Now let's try something like walking instead of standing. And now let's click on generate. As you can see these are the generations and they are a bit similar to the previous generations but not that similar. So in order to get the t-shirts similar to each other let's uh, add plain black t-shirt. So wearing a plain black t-shirt with a black bag walking in rocky mountains. Now let's try generating another result and see. And as you can see this time the t-shirts uh, are looking pretty plain. Now let's do something like sitting on a rock in rocky mountains looking confused. So I've added sitting on a rock in the rocky mountains looking confused and now let's click on generate. And as you can see this image is similar to the previous images. This set of images was not at all similar. Look at this image and this image. They both look similar. This one and this one. So I'll go with this one. Now in order to get some similar faces I've added with a prominent jawline. A white boy with a prominent jawline. Brown hair named. So jawline and now let's click on generate and see what it comes up with and as you can see the results look pretty similar so these are the type of keywords that you can use in order to get similar results now these results that I have generated so suppose you are getting some uneven hands or legs or arms like in this image I was getting uneven hands arms 
legs so I clicked on add negative prompt and I have added just two or three negative prompts like uneven and distorted and these are the results that it came up with and they are much better looking so this one looks pretty good it looks like there is no trouble and there is no error in the image only this part is a bit distorted so if you add three or four more negative prompts in your prompt negative section then you will get much better images so this is how you can use uh, your own prompts to generate some characters that are similar to each other by describing more of the features of the characters and the atmosphere they are standing in and using some negative prompts like I have used right here distorted, distorted arms and legs, uneven arms etc. Now let's go back to the home page and search for some images to remix in order to create some images using the second technique of remixing the other images. So I came to the home page and I came across this image right here. So let's click on this image and let's click on remix. It is a pretty big prompt. So let's find a place to add a name in the prompt. A, photorealist, a photorealistic portrait of a stunning beautiful woman named. Now let's go to behind the name and select a name for this beautiful young lady. So let's go to feminine and then Swedish. And let's go and select a name. Let's do this one right here. And then let's go back to the prompt and paste the name right here. Now let's see what uh, the image looks like and how the image is a bit different. So this is what the portrait looks like. Now let's change the name a bit and see what the portrait will look like then. So I've copied one more name and now I'm going to go in this section right here and paste the name. And as you can see, the images are pretty different. The characters are a bit different. So you can describe some characteristics like the color of the skin, the color of the eyes, the distance from the camera etc you can edit it in this section right here for example Nikon D850 film stock photograph so you can change this to any other camera that you want or the lens size that you want so f1.6 lens instead of that you can use a lens which is much further than that the next image that I'm going to remix is one of my personal feed images so this is the image right here and I'm going to go to the image and now I'm going to click on remix. So instead of this Laura Finset name, this is also a name that was given by me. Now I'm going to remove this name and maybe instead of Laura Finset, I'm going to add something else instead of Laura. So let's go right here and let's do this one, this name right here. Let's go back to Leonardo.ai and paste this name right here and let's click on generate and see what uh, changes does it generate so I generated four images right here and as you can see all the four images the faces in all the four images look pretty similar I remixed another image and I added this name to the image and these are the results that got generated. Now let's see three more images. Let's generate three more images and see whether the four or six images are they similar to each other. As you can see, all these images look similar to each other. You can also add some details like looking confused or looking happy or looking towards something in order to change and get something that is a bit unique according to your own requirements as you can see right here I added looking outside the window and these are the results I like this image now you can also add something like walking in a forest so I added walking in a forest and then I clicked on generate and these are the results um, 
you can also like whatever you want you can add it and you can change the image according to what you want so this was it for the video if you find the video informative then subscribe to the channel and i'll be back with some more ai related content in my next video